So the way these steer is via brakes. When you brake the right track, it slows down, you turn to the right. When you brake the left track, it slows down, you turn to the left. When you pull both, you're braking both tracks. So these are your brakes and they're how you steer. These buttons on top are for the locks. So if you're driving and you have your thumbs on top, you could lock them. So never have your hands on top. Keep your fingers away from the buttons. So when you start driving, you just pull them towards you and release them. And now they're free. When we're parking, you put hold down the buttons as you pull them to lock them. Gear selector. So when we stop, it needs to go back into neutral. For this course, it's fine for two, three. Uh, you have you know, different gear ranges depending on the terrain you're in, mud, snow, so on, but we're fine just to go two, three. We don't need first gear for this. So when you start driving, you'll just pull it down into two, three, release, and we add fuel and being an automatic like, you got to remember, this is made so that even Marines can drive it. We're talking people who eat crayons for <laughs> breakfast. Now, in their defense, they look a lot like MREs, so I completely understand. But they've made this pretty simple. Any Marines seeing this, I do apologize. The most important thing in this vehicle for you is our fuel shutoff right here. This is how you stop the engine. So any problems, we have, uh, as I like to call them, oh shit moments. I don't know, maybe the linkage on the fuel pedal breaks and we have a runaway vehicle. You grab the fuel shut off and you pull it and we'll stop. So that is your key. Like, if anything else, know where to stop this thing if anything goes wrong mm -hmm. for you. So you pull that out and that's how you stop it at the end as well. So it's when we're- shit handle. Hmm? It's the oh shit handle. That's why, yeah, it's for the oh shit situations, yep, the oh shit handle. So you just, um, when we're done at the end, you just pull that out and it does stop the engine. Uh, so it's, it's actually fairly simple. You've got your speedometer right here, tachometer, engine temperatures, voltage, fuel tank, and your idiot lights are here for any oil, you know, engine oil issues, transmission oils, that sort of thing. Seat goes up and down via this handle right here, little ball. So you'll be driving hatches up because the uh, episcopes are a little cloudy and it's not great to start learning that way anyway. You can use either one of these fuel pedals. You see how they're... Mm -hmm. Please do not release it quickly. You'll snap the shaft in the blower and so ease off on the fuel. Don't just let up on it. So once we start, and we'll go offline for that aspect. So you're just putting it into gear two, three, and we're gonna be doing two laps each around the grass here. So I'll take you out for one lap first, just so everybody can see, and then we'll switch you all through for a couple laps. So it'll be mostly right-hand turns, the opposite of NASCAR, but so you'll just be turning when I, if I yell stop over the radio, uh, we'll be putting a headset on the driver, both back, uh, either fuel pedal, like you, I quite often just use the bottom one, even though that's more for hatches down. This one's kind of designed for hatches up, but whatever you're more comfortable with, foot rest here, and try to keep it around 10 miles per hour, it's a, or under, whatever you're comfortable with, okay. but it, that's a decent speed not to beat the crap out of your friends in the in the back because <laughs> oh, nobody hears infantry right because infantry 20 but the, <laughs> you guys will just do 10. so essentially the things forward is the tracks going forward you pull it back is brake yeah okay and you're steering by brakes it is 100 percent it so yeah so it's you're right, breaking the right track you're you're not even really you're not pushing forward on yeah no. just kind of like a, <laughs> yeah so like i'll drive with pretty much hands free uh these are just should be disconnected, but those are actually for pivot turning, pivot steering. Uh, neutral steer is one forward, one back, yeah, yeah, spinning yeah. in oh, spot. Okay. Neutral steer is locking, or pivot steering is locking one track and ah. pivoting around that okay. track. Yeah. Uh, they, the problem was a lot of guys will drive with no hands, mm. and then the crew commander says driver right, 
and if you grab the wrong one at 60 kilometers an hour, you roll the vehicle. So the CF actually disconnected most of the pivot steers just because of accidental rollovers because they're what, five inches apart? Um, so those are for low speed pivots and like I say, it, it's not hard. I've accidentally put my hand onto it. Now I can tell the difference because of the, the bend in it, but people have rolled these from using the pivots accidentally, so that's why they get end up getting dis disconnected. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I guess we might as well knock off the camera part because we'll be going through startup. And
Thank you so much for watching. This was a great experience. I'm very grateful to Scott for the effective and safe lesson and to Ontario Regiment Museum for the awesome opportunity at Aquino Tank Weekend to get back behind the sticks. I can see why the service members who've told me stories with their M113 could, could love them. If it was up to me, I might pick a vehicle with a little lower center of gravity, but it goes without saying, you're still gonna have a hard time getting me out of that thing. <laughs> if you have M113 stories, let me hear them down in the comments below. I want to thank the Ontario Regiment Museum team Team. Once again, I want to thank World of Tanks for sponsoring the event and to uh, sponsor my trip. And thank you all for watching the video and following along with my little armored adventures. I will see you guys for the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.